So I was just about to get started when I realised that I've got everything I need except a basic breaker bar or wrench. So I've got all the complex stuff, I've got all the torque wrenches and bits like that, but I don't have just a normal wrench to break the wheel nuts off with. Ah, trip to Halford. On the plus side though, I am kitted out in my scruffy clothes and I'm ready to just get on with it. Get on with what, I hear you ask? Long story short, I have these lovely wheels on my Audi TT. But the thing is, they are absolutely knackered. They're curbed, they're faded, the paint's chipping, the lacquer's peeled. They're just a really bad condition set of wheels. Now, I'm thinking that if I can take them off and paint them and put them back on, the car will look 10 times better and it will greatly improve the image of the car. So that is what I'm going to be attempting to do today. So come along with me as I attempt to learn how to refurb some very complicated wheels. Enjoy. They really have seen better days. The insides of the wheels are just all flaking, if you can see that. I mean, somebody's obviously resprayed these before and had a go at sanding them down, but not particularly well. So let's hope I can do a bit better. Okay, well, I've got everything I need. It's just time to get these damn center caps off now. So uh, let's get to it. Right, so here it is, wheel, and as you can see, it's absolutely knackered. I hadn't realised quite how rotted this aluminium was. I mean, there's loads of corrosion on the inside. At this stage, I was thinking, oh my god, what have I got myself into? I need a sand blaster, but I don't have one, so let's give it a shot. The first thing I'm going to do is whip out the pressure washer and see if that can get some of the loose paint off. After it had had some time to dry off, I decided I was going to get the wire wheel out, uh, pop it on the drill, and just see if I could get some of that corrosion off. But, spoiler, the corrosion was very deep and difficult to remove. At this point, I realised that I wasn't going to get the perfect professional finish that I was hoping for, because these wheels were just so corroded that the best that I could really do is just give them a lick of paint, and it's not going to be up to professional standard by any means, but at least it should look a little bit better than flaking, peeling paint. So now that your expectations have been reduced, let's continue. This was the result after a fair while of sanding and scouring. Now I know it's not perfect, I could have done with putting some filler in the areas with curb rash, but I didn't bother. These wheels are not going to be perfect by any standard. There's so much corrosion, particularly on the inside and in places on the outside surface, that I just wasn't going to bother trying to make it perfect. Without being completely doom and gloom though, the wheel was now ready for paint.
And there we have it, two refurbished wheels. That's right, I've only done two wheels, I haven't done the other side of the car just yet, but I do think that's much improved. The paint isn't flaking, they've got their shine back. They're not perfect, but that is definitely an improvement. There's still some corrosion on the inside that you can see, but I really couldn't do anything about that without a proper sandblaster. You just, you, you can't do that with a wire wheel or a drill or, or, or even a sanding block, it's just not possible but I do think that I've achieved my goal of making them look better than they did before. I may well also spray the centre caps as they're a slightly different silver, but I'll see if I get round to it. I'm really not that bothered. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.